Since the first case of yellow fever was confirmed late December, the epidemic has killed at least 250 people and counting mostly in the capital, Luanda. The government has launched a vaccination campaign with medical workers administering the vaccine to thousands of people daily. The target is to cover around 7 million people or more than 80% of the entire population in Luanda province. I am afraid of the virus. I had to come here to make sure I don't get sick. I have seen people become very sick from yellow fever. One of the vaccination centers set up by the military has been receiving some 5,500 people a day in the capital city with priority given to the most vulnerable. We have been working with the media to ensure we can get as many people in as possible. We do have many people coming, but many are afraid. They suspect that if they get the immunization, they will get yellow fever. The outbreak has prompted the biggest vaccination drive in the Angola's modern history, but authorities fear the confirmed cases of dead and sick are merely a fraction of the true number of casualties. The symptoms of yellow fever and those of malaria are very similar, so many times people get misdiagnosed. Just like malaria, the virus is carried by a mosquito named the Aedes aegypti. Low oil prices caught Luanda's public spending, so garbage and rubbish has piled up on the streets in recent months, creating a perfect breeding ground for the mosquitoes. Uluwato Sinwulabi, CVC News.